Supplymybusiness.co.uk. Find suppliers and quote for work locally. Try us free until 1st of May 2016. Paul Andrews with the Business Bunker. Welcome back to the Business Bunker Show on KempBusinessRadio.co.uk on this Tuesday, the 19th of April, with me, Paul Andrews, and the stockingly gorgeous Jill Serkin. Hello. Hello. That was frenetic, wasn't it? <laughs> it all went off there. <laughs> well, you crammed in about 58 guests into a two-hour show. I yeah, mean, but... You're but, irresistible, I know. That, no, no, but, but we really. had a break, and then people turned up, and, and yeah. people wanted llama packages and yeah. all kinds of nonsense going on out there. Well, I had a pack. I had a Mac a computer... A very expensive one that uh, somebody said was delivered to my house and actually uh, a neighbour of mine had signed for it and thought they had a free Mac computer so Mm. it can happen um, Absolutely, Uh, I've had a tweet from East East Kent College we were talking about the colleges just before the break East Kent College Apprentices uh, hey, Vanilla Web, can we get a shout out for our Lucy, who's been meeting some Kentish lambs in her purple wellies? Aww. Now, isn't isn't that isn't that a meme that's come together? Yes, and gambling. It's got gambling lambs. Yeah. It's got purple, and it's got apprentices. Yeah. Basically, they just pulled together our entire show in one tweet. And your wig. Your no, hair. we won't mention that. Well, we will. No, we will. No. Read an email. Okay, um, so, hello, Business Bunker, hello, Jules Serkin, hello, um, Mr. Bunker. Come along to the on the 26th of April to the Kent B2B at the Ashford International Hotel, 8.30am to 4pm, and meet over 100 exhibitors from all the business sectors, showcasing their products and services. It's free for delegates, they say, and this is kentinvictorchamber.co.uk. Oh, there'll also be a free glass of fizz. Really? Yeah, Blimey. that's worth it, isn't it? Are you on your way over there now? Yeah, I'm there. There's okay. an EU debate, listener, with Daniel Hannan. Mm. He's the MP for the South East of England. MEP. Um, the MEP, thank you, for the South East of England. Good job you're here, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and Peter Fleming, OBE, and leader of Seven Oaks That's changed. District. Well, what? What's changed? It's not Peter Fleming anymore. Oh, who is it? It's not you. I'm chairing it, yeah. Oh, of course God. I am. It's um, the um, the re- the Remaniac on the panel, is, um, which is what they're calling him now, is uh, Hugo Dixon, who wrote a best-selling book on why we should stay in the EU. And Dan Hannan is leading the Why We Should Leave panel. And the debate is taking place next Thursday, the 28th of April, at Seven Oaks School. And you'll be there? I'm chairing it, yeah. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So what what is it about? Uh, it's about the EU and the EU referendum, and it is aimed at small and medium-sized businesses and what they believe would be the ramifications of either leaving. Brexit, Brexit, either leaving the EU mm. or the ramifications of staying in the EU and from a small business point of view. We're trying to keep it focused on... On the business issues, on the SMEs, so we, we won't. It'll be a, it'll be a punch up as it always is, but yeah. um, you know, we'll try. Um, the in, the evening is intended, they say, to be interactive, and mm. there'll be an opportunity for audience participation. Mm. So I might come just to heckle you. You're going to need to perked me up. You need to get in quickly because um, there's only 300 spaces, and the last time I saw, there weren't many tickets left. Well, you can go to the box office at mm. sevenoaksschool.org or mm. three W's, the spaces sevenoaks.co.uk. What's on? Or go to Kent Business Radio, and you can click on there and find all the links. You can indeed. I tell you what, Seven Oaks School, the space. Uh, that we're holding it in is absolutely brilliant it is really fabulous Uh, what's going to happen we're going to record that uh, for broadcast on uh, on the business bunker show over a period of time as well Ah. so we we are going to we are going to record the debate and then um, play some of it back to you Um, did you know that there's a celebration of arts and culture in kent yep you didn't. You're just making that up. You I'm don't going. Know. You don't. Oh, you, oh, no, you, you're not. You said earlier you you're go to everything. I'm that. going. No, I'm not. I'm just going to yeah, have dinner there. But when were you creative? No, I'm going to have dinner An artistic. Dinner no, I'm going because Natalie invited me. That's so, why. Uh, so you're going to go in a little smock and, you know. No, no, no. I'm just going to turn up and eat me dinner because uh, cause Natalie invited me. Okay. so Because she's nice to me and you're well, not. Well, I know. The first ceremony will take place. She's, a, she's only trying to teach you some French other than Monsange et Donlab. Monsange et Donlab. Sange. Yeah. Um, may we? Monge too, Monge too. May yeah, we? Go on. Um, the first ceremony, uh, ceremony will take place during a dinner, which is what you're going to. I'm going to the dinner. On Wednesday the 18th. This is manana then. 
mm-hmm. at the Alexandra Centre in Faversham. Mm-hmm. And Kent County Council has identified key sectors with growth potential for Kent and the creative sector is one of them. Arts and culture in Kent do raise the profile of the county and places with a strong cultural identity attract tourism. We'll just look at Margate and the mm-hmm. uh, Turner, what that's done exactly. for it. Exactly, yep. Um, so uh, you can book by going to kentcreativearts.co.uk with a forward slash event and you'll find it there. And don't forget, it's manana. Absolutely. And you'll be there. I will indeed. Do you know what we're going to do now? We're going to talk to someone sensible. We should. Is it we're going to talk to someone sensible. Or Roger. It's t- no, it's time to talk to Simon. Um, and uh, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome onto the Business Bunker show. Um, we kind of. He just arrived at the studio. We've dragged him into the studio, thrown him into a seat, and yeah. shoved the microphone in front what of his tank, face. What is tank and water for? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it's an absolute pleasure to welcome onto the Business Bunker Show uh, Simon Mead of Law Affairs. Simon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for inviting me all the way down here. What a yeah. beautiful day. It's, oh, an abs- right. it's an absolute pleasure to see you. It is a glorious day, it is, isn't it? And, and yeah. I've just been reading Andrew Weaver's tweets, and he seems to be lounging like toad and ratty by a river. Hmm. Oh, that's the typical weaver, I'm afraid. Uh, it is really, isn't it? Having yeah. a picnic or something. Yeah, yeah he s- sends the troops away. Yeah. And uh, when we're not there, he's... he's and you're doing he, all the work. He, uh, all he, the time. he gambles, does he, when you're away? He just... He just <laughs> he like just, a lamb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Simon, tell us a little bit about Lawyer Fair and uh, what it is and what you do. Okay. Well, Lawyer Fair is a, a platform that we set up. So it's a, uh, the, the term disruptive technology is used quite a lot with uh, startups and new businesses, but that's exactly what it is. And it's a platform that we put in place to help SMEs and small businesses uh, to find the right lawyer for their business. Mm. And it's, it's predicated around, um, you know, we don't always go to the same shop for the same thing all the time. Mm. Um, and actually people have traditionally not really shopped around for legal advice and legal services. Mm. But actually, why wouldn't you? Exactly. Why wouldn't you look around for the best person to do the best job at the best price for you? Absolutely. Uh, It's interesting, and it's interesting what you say, and I have current, immediate experience of lawyers right at this moment in a few things that I'm doing. And um, whilst you didn't say this, I I am saying this, the legal profession, profession could do with a, a really mighty big shake-up because they're very very uh, dinosaur-like um in a lot of cases but andrew and isn't no 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 that's what i'm saying yeah. this yeah. is where i'm yeah. coming from here yeah. this is this isn't this isn't where uh, simon and andrew and, and lawyer fair this is this is what i'm getting at mm-hmm. is that um simon made reference quite rightly to the fact that in the past a lot of us haven't really shopped around a great deal uh, for legal services you know you didn't know you could really well you just yeah. sort of Went to a lawyer that you was local. And yeah, well, I, th- I think what's happened in the past is, you know, particularly with with businesses and and sort of second, third generation SMEs, not not so much with the new tech startups. Yeah. They're, they, yeah. you know, they will shop around. Mm. Um, but you know, there are hundreds of thousands of SMEs that probably always did what their their parents did. Yeah. You know, well, let's get, you know, go to old Mr. Scroggins down the high street. We've uh, used Mr. him Scroggins. for years. Yeah. Funny, you know, that's but, where I go. Well, yeah. Yeah, well but Mr. actually, Scroggins. he may not be the best person to yeah. uh, to put a commercial property lease together for you, or exactly. You know, uh, you know I, I was going to say exactly that. One of the things that you do find, or you used to find a, a lot is that a lot of people's only experience of using a lawyer was conveyancing for their for their domestic property. So if they had a business, they go, oh, I'll use the lawyer that did that. And they wouldn't even think about the fact that they might not know the first thing about exactly. business. Yeah, no, it's uh, exactly that. And also, yeah. I think what, what, what's changing is, mm. um, and I've had a little bit of experience of this in mm. with, with my sort of past business life, but um, it, we're seeing these reverse auction platforms everywhere. So there's mm. a, a business called Car Wow at the moment where you know, mm. instead of you hauling yourself around a million car dealers, mm. you spec the car that you want, mm. you send it out to the website, the website gets the car dealers to do to do the work. Mm. Uh, Lawyer Fair, it's exactly the same process. It's funny you should mention that. Thank you for that. I like this, man. If you want to read more about Carwell, I have an interview with James Hind, who is the founder, on the Kemp Business Radio website. Thank you for that, Simon, for that. Set them up and I'll okay. bang them in the back yeah, of the net. I feel like I walked straight into that one. But, uh, <laughs> there, there was no collusion on that, I have yeah. to tell you. But you're absolutely right. And um, it, and why not? You know, we should make these people do the work. And, and, and I mean, that's kind of really what I want to I, I explore with you now. 
I mean, lawyer fair is a disruptive business, isn't it? Really, yes, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah, it is, and it's uh, you know it's a business that um, I mean, you, again through experience, so a, a long time ago when I when I had brown hair, um, <laughs> we. But now, uh, listener, he's a silver fox. You, yeah, yeah, a bit like George don't, Clooney. Don't, don't get her on this. Well, I have I have hair, <laughs> which yes, is my advantage. So exactly. I'm, I'm not going to be hunted by an owl. Uh, uh, been following that yeah, story today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, so years ago, uh, first wave of the internet. Uh, world, we set up an online stockbroking business called E-Trade. Right. And at the time, everybody went to their stockbrokers. Mm. You know, and that was the only price, you could, only place you could get a share price. It was the only mm. place you could do a trade. Mm. You know, with your stockbroker, with your bank. Mm. And we came up with a business plan to set up an online stockbroking business. All right. And we thought the obvious thing to do is to pair with an existing stockbroking business. Uh, we couldn't find one for love nor money. Really? <laughs> no. All the the minute they saw the prices that we wanted to charge, yeah. you know that was it. And of course, their world changed. Of yeah. course, they got swallowed up. Yeah. Everything yeah. that happened in the states two years mm. earlier yeah. happened in in the UK. Yeah. And actually, this reverse auction platform for for lawyers um, has been operating very very successfully for two or three years in the states at least, and it will come here. Mm. Um, but I think what we are also definitely seeing is that enlightened law firms are seeing us as an opportunity. Mm. You know, they, they actually, you know, it won't work if we um, don't have the right balance of, of solicitors on one side and law firms on one side and the right balance of SMEs. Well, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, you, you might be aware of this, you might not. Um, I, I, I am actually right in the process of using lawyer fair myself at the moment. Well, I didn't know that, so that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, um, and the uh, and it is it, it has been an eye opener. I'm, I'm very uh, f- right at the start of the process that I'm doing. I have just completed some legal work which I didn't source through lawyer fair. Shame on you. Exactly, and um, I had loads of issues with it. Um, over the customer service levels I received for some very expensive legal work. I'm not very happy about it. Decided to go lawyer fairness route. Been a complete sea change in the approach. I get all these lawyers ringing me up and going, oh, hello, um, can we help you? Uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. fantastic. I mean, that's yeah. what it's designed to do. Exactly. Right? And, and they're going, you know, we, we'll put together, a, oh, tell us what you want. Da, 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 da. They're talking to me. And the one thing I found with old school lawyers is they don't talk to you. you know, well, they you, talk to you in lawyer language. Yeah, well, they, well, they send you lots of letters. Yeah, yeah they send you, you know, loads of letters at hundred pound yeah. a time. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I mean, the, the, the ones that are successful, mm. um, you know, and we again, we, you know, we we vet mm. who comes onto the panel, mm. and we have a you know we have a long conversation. So it's not, mm. you know, we're not throwing your legal query out to the world. Yeah. You know, we've we've selected lawyers in every different category, ones yeah. that we think can work the system. Yeah. And um, it's not always the cheapest one. That, you know, what, actually, what you want for your customer yeah. is the the best answer for their query. Yeah. So that that's number one. That's what mm. we want to try and deliver mm. with the most talented lawyer in the pool to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, secondly, is actually cost. So most of the queries, mm. most of the business that gets placed, it's not done with the cheapest. Right. Actually, it's done with somebody who offers the client the best answer with a fixed fee. Right, you know, so that the the costs aren't endless. Absolutely, you know, and and that in that in itself, you, you're absolutely right, Simon. Of course, you're absolutely right. What we want is the right answer and the, and yeah. the right service. Yeah. Um, but one of the things with professional service firms of all kinds, to be fair, is you know sometimes you enter into something and before you know it, you're running up costs all over the place, exactly. and you, and you, yeah. eventually you think, oh, hold on yeah. a minute, you know. Uh, yeah. And it, it's a model that is mm. is more and more prevalent. You mm. know, if, if you're, um, you know, very close to home, Rift Accounting. Yeah. You know, they they offer. A, you know, we've we've moved over to Rift actually quite recently okay. from okay. a traditional accounting service. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And actually, the reason we moved was one, it was a fixed fee, and we knew exactly what our costs were going to be. Yeah. They made it really easy to do. Yeah. Mm. You know, um, and the the service, the customer service you get, is exemplary. Yeah. You know, and that's the experience that. Lawyer Fair wants to get out to, to its customers as well. Absolutely. Um, I want I want to kind of look at this from another angle now. You've explained adequately what you do. You, uh, the the model of it is brilliant. Um, the idea behind it is really fabulous, and it works. Uh, and I can say that as someone that's in the process of using it. You know, I went, I told them what I wanted within hours, and it literally was. I didn't even wait a day. 
I, I started getting feedback because of the kind of thing I was asking. You know, there were questions that the lawyers needed to ask me as well to, yes. to identify what yeah. I wanted to do quite rightly. Yeah. So they put me in touch with law firms who said, right, can you quantify this? Can you, what, what is it actually you're doing? Why are you doing that? And da, 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 da. I went, I went back and gave that. And then I'm just at the process now getting the quotes in. People are now starting to quote for the work, which has been really interesting because I'm doing something very similar to, to that which I was doing before with um, something that wasn't working very well for me. And the quotes I'm getting back are, are all of the order of a thousand pounds or more cheaper yeah, than I paid last time. We, we reckon most of our SMEs yeah. probably save about 40%. Yeah. Unbelievable. And, and I just feel much better about the process. But I want to look at something else now, uh, because you've been, you, you're f- not really, but almost a bit of a startup. You, you, you know, you're not far into the process of having started this up. Um, and I just wanted to get your feelings for, um, how you've fundraised for the business and how you've kind of got the business off the ground yourselves. Yeah. Um, it's, okay. Well, I think everybody know. you know, the, the businesses can't work without money. Yeah. But I think the, the source of the money is equally as important. Mm. You know, so if, if um, you know, at the moment we, um, interesting actually, we're just about to start a second round. Oh, okay. So we've done all our, you know, we've done our seed fund round. Right. Um, worked brilliantly. And that allowed us to prove a whole series of concepts. Mm. So the the fundraising that we did with our, our seed fund provider, you know, mm. we, we, were, we were lucky in that we had a couple of connections. But right. in your... You almost want your fundraising, your, your your funding partners to have certain skill sets. Mm. So your your seed fund round, you know, you want the investors that come on board mm. to be able to deliver um, actually also some expertise alongside the money. Right. You know, because yep. we can't always afford to go out and pay for X, Y, and Z. So, mm. um, you know, I put money into Lawyer Fair. Mm. My speciality is in commercial contracts, agreements, and those types of things. Right. So that's what I do for Lawyer Fair. Right, okay. Um, our seed funder had a lot of contacts with uh, tech companies, mm. you know, which is the type of people that we wanted to be able to have first sets of customer mm. bases with. The second round of funding, uh, we're looking for people who can enhance everything that we've done. So right. you've got to be able to have proven the concept. Right. You know, so when you've got an idea that people love, mm. but that's not enough. Mm. You know, you've got to then use your first tranche of money to prove that uh, actually your your company has some stickability. Yeah. You know, and where you want to get to with your second round is to say, okay, so if we can raise X amount of money, that will allow us to ramp up our proven marketing strategy. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's that in itself is a tricky one with a company like Lawyer Fair, and we faced it with E Trade. Mm. Um, is that actually you don't want to be spending too much of your hard earned venture capital money on educating customers yeah yeah you know you want to get your name out yeah um but you don't you know you don't want to then have to to pay to tell somebody you know actually this is a new process Hmm. you know you want to get your name out there so you need to work very hard on your um on your organic absolutely um, yeah you know search stuff so we we write a lot of articles right you know we produce a lot of information for smes that we send out there <laughs> which essentially is is free it takes time mm. but that helps to bring people to your site as well absolutely and it, it solidifies what you're doing as yeah, well and it establishes yeah. your, your place e- in everything the is a, yeah. everything is a qualifier yeah, you know, yeah so when you're when you're talking to your the the vc firms or wherever you're raising that funding for mm. that that tranche you can point to mm. absolute real examples of of success i'm 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 really pleased that you said that in the way that you did and you identified that because I, I have a little pet um tarantula no 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 i have a little pet rent that i'm on at the moment right i operate as an angel investor for yeah. small business startups and i'm getting really should, f- should i leave you my card yeah <laughs> I'm getting really fed up with getting um, business plans, <laughs> business plans, yeah. from people that really just want me to pay their salary. Basically, yeah, they, yeah, no, you know, just... their business has got not very much to it. It hasn't got a lot of income potential. It certainly hasn't got equity investment potential. And the money that they're asking me to put in is basically just so they can live. You know, so their entire business model is me to give them the money, really, and yeah. it's starting to annoy me a lot. Yeah. Well, that's, that's that's how Weaver of Toad Hall can yeah. be sitting at home while we're yeah. out here earning yeah. no money yeah. doing all this. But yeah. no, no, it's, it's absolutely right. You know, you can't, um, 
you can't just take your investors' money and spend it on your salaries. Yeah. That just doesn't work. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, uh, so um, you're just about to go out for a second tranche of investment, did you say? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the business is growing rapidly, so it's, it's about you, the right time for us to do that. Do you mind me asking what method you're doing? Uh, are you going to investors or are you going to crowdfunding? Uh, yeah, I think we are – actually, we'll, we'll probably end up with a hybrid. Right, okay. So, um, actually, if you are crowdfunding, mm. you know, so um, I think – People who aren't familiar with it mm. think that actually you just stick your business plan up there mm. and general members of the public just throw money at it until you reach the right amount of money you need. doesn't really work like that. Right. Most crowdfunding um, organisations will want you to have raised at least sort of 20% mm. in new capital before you can go onto the platform. Yeah. So what's absolutely key for any business is to make sure that your existing investors follow on um, yep. Because you know, actually, they're showing faith in you, and that looks great to the outside world. Mm -hmm. So that really matters. Mm. And then, you know, if you are crowdfunding, you've got a good story to tell people and a good presentation, a good way of getting your message across. Yep. So crowdfunding is certainly an option, um, but we also have a, a list of key individuals that we would approach right. um, and key key VC companies okay. that we'd approach. Cool. Uh, we could talk about this for a long time. Sadly, we're kind of running out of time. Um, if uh, if you could give us a shout out quickly for your website and how we find out more about Lawyer Fair and, and yeah, all about you. Absolutely. So our website is lawyerfair.co.uk. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go straight to the website. Um, we have live chat on there. So if you want to talk to one of our advisors, um, if you hang around on the website for 30 seconds or so, a box will come up. Right. You can email us. Our telephone numbers are on there. Um, so please you know, get in contact with lawyerfair.co.uk. Fantastic. Simon, thank you so much for joining us on the Business Bank Show. been a pleasure to hear from you. We wish you much success with Lawyer Fair. I'm enjoying uh, the process of uh, getting involved in using it. We've still got your duck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, for those that don't know, uh, some time ago, um, Simon's business partner, Andrew Weaver, came on the show, and he produced a rubber duck in a uh, barrister's wig. And, um, oh, We've got a phone call. You know who this will be. I know who this will be. If you don't mind, I'll just take the call.